Hi everyone, Paul Akers and welcome to the American Innovator. We are in Providence, Rhode Island at the Journal of Light Construction Show with Brian Way. Welcome, Brian. Thank you very much, Paul. From BP Way, he has a construction company here in the Northeast, the highest concentration of woodworkers anywhere in the world. And Brian is a true innovator. We're going to show you all kinds of cool things in the back of his truck. So, Brian, yes. let's get going. Let's start with your lock system because that is so cool. All right. So come on over here and check this out. This is this lock system. So what we have here is I, I created this lock system because I was tired of my box truck getting broken into. So people would just cut this so lock they and they get the right into it. they open the door. So they right. could cut the lock now, and once this is actuated with your key fob or your power locks, you can't get in it. So we'll go ahead and lock it. It okay. takes a, a moment right there. Okay, it now it's out. locked. So a pin has come through here on this solid piece of steel that has uh, lock nuts on the back side so they can't get into it, right. and it's locked. So now go ahead and undo it. So watch right here. See, you can see the actuator come through. Okay, so now we can open it up, and go. that's what the actuator comes through, the big right. cylinder. So now we're inside this amazing truck. Now let's do the next step, Brian. So the next step, we made a custom, custom stairs here. Make All out of easier. aluminum. All out of aluminum, very lightweight, tucks away underneath the truck. And I notice it clears the bumper perfectly. Clears the bumper, yep. So nobody's ever done this before. This is kind of a cool little totally thing. Totally custom, yeah. No, nobody's done that. Wow, this is a lot of sight. I love it. Okay, now what's next? Um, well, looking at the back of the truck, I have air fittings all around the truck, both sides of the truck, the oh, back of the truck, inside that. the truck, so I have an onboard air compressor. Right. Uh, 5,000 watt voltage inverter, which is powering up everything right now. Storage for everything, rails and uh, all kinds of fast cap third hands and, and parts. Best fence even have the best stand. fence system even right have here. the best fence system right, right, right there. there. One yep. of the original ones. That you're is, you're an early adopter. Very early adopter. Now look at this right here. This is cool. What is this all about? So I added this on here to make it easier for one person to load and unload this uh, the saw. So when you, you just lean it up, it hits right about here. You pick the other end up. What push a it in, great really innovation. I mean, Thank Brian, you. you are a lean guy to the nth degree. Look, he made his lock system work. He made this work perfectly. He made his steps work perfectly. And now we're going to go inside this amazing truck because he has everything dialed in in here. And here we are in snowy Providence, Rhode Island in the back of Brian's cool lean truck. So what I have is a woodpecker rail system embedded into the into the bench. Um, you made a couple of jigs and your so fast edge. Fast edge just sits right in there like that, right? right? And then we just go like this. Go like that. Your fast edge is locked in. These are set for the shelf thickness. Put it in. Very cool. And they're adjustable. Of and course. they're adjustable, of course. Yep. So you're not struggling to hold your We're board not right struggling. now. Very good. Very nice area to. Uh, to show where the edge banding now, goes. Now I'm going to come over here to your come drawer, on over. Brian, because I know that you have a fast edge drawer this is with my all the tools, drawer. and I know that you need flush cutters, Absolutely. right? There you go. I'll hand yep. you those. Makes it a whole lot easier. And there's trimmers and a roller. Does you want me to do some edging? I'm going to do the whole thing real quick. And all right, I'm going to have to remove a glove, you know. Okay, well, hey, it's cold, and by the way, very. it's snowing out It's today. snowing, and it's very cold. We are dedicated to the American Innovator and showing you the latest innovations from all over the world. And today, we're in Providence, Rhode Island. And look at this. He puts it on. No struggle. The board's not moving. Completely lean process. He rolls it. He cuts it. And mind you, all these tools were in exactly the right place embedded in Kaizen foam. Absolutely. Which is really nice. We've got a lean truck from start to finish. Then we trim it. And then of course we do a little fast break on it, break the edge, and we're done just done. like that. And then we put all of our tools away. Let's go do that because that's always fun. Because when you have Kaizen foam, you always have a place for everything and everything in this place. Look at this, Brian. I've never even worked here before and I know where everything goes. Where's that roller, Brian? It's right here. Okay, right come on. You. Oh, here's the roller. Look at this. Everything's in Kaizen foam. He has all of his tools dialed in. Wow. This is so cool. Oh, oh, oh. There's that. always one drawer. There's always one drawer. There's another one that's not done oh, yet this either. This one, he's working on this one. Very cool. That is an in-progress toolbox. Right okay, there. and look at this. I like this, Brian. So you've got your clips on your Bosch drills, and you built this in to the workbench, so it's right there. You're not struggling to get anything, right. and it hangs perfectly. Exactly. So look at that, on and off, so simple. You have so many cool things. Let's go down there and show the runoff tables. Those are really cool. All right, so what we have, say you're working on a 10, 12 foot piece of wood and you need a little longer workbench to work Here, let on. me get that sniglet off your hand. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. 
So I have a, an extension workbench that goes all the way out another, it actually goes out to about six feet. So we can lay a long piece of plywood up there. On and the side. aluminum is referenced off the countertop height, right? Correct. And then let's turn around and look over this side because your miter box saw has the same thing. The miter box saw is the same thing. Look at that. And the plexiglass references right here, off the top of here. Yes. And then let's look at your drill press. You did some really cool things on the drill Thank press. You. So I have a pull-out table underneath there. Look at this. Completely dialed in. And it, on the bottom, I have aluminum channel, so it locks right in at the right, right place all the time. Away. Now, this is really well thought out. Thank you. And so now you have a larger platform. Larger platform, drill. and then this fence actually will mount right on the rails, which will give you the uh, the shop accuracy you're looking oh, for. Oh, so in the truck. this references in these rails. Right, right? correct. Yes, it does. Nice with the flip job. stops. Thank you. And I noticed, Brian, up here, look at this, you have all the fast cap tape measures. So you're definitely committed to our measuring system, but the speed clips, which really is one of my favorite ideas, which came from another carpenter, Tony Jimenez, and this allows you to take the tape measure on and off. And the best thing is, when a tape measure is missing, it's you know visual, it's and you know it, and you're going to go track it down. Right. You're not going to leave and say, well, I wonder what happened to that tape measure. Right. So that is really cool. Now, look, you have a coffee maker here. Coffee maker. This is pretty awesome. Right? And, a, and a microwave, right? And then what's this? We have a TV, DVD, and um, slash security system. That's a camera on the top there. Right, so you got a camera here. You're monitoring outside and outside inside and the truck. Inside, 72 hour loop. And I notice you're using our Kaizen boxes right here for Very, the current. Yeah, that's the most yeah, important thing. This is thing the in coffee the thing right there. Yeah. Wow. And I notice also now that you have your air fittings here with your gauges, mm -hmm. table saws, you got a sander here, all your tapes. This. I'm and just I've, noticing all this yeah, stuff. That loop just pull this out. off just like this. And that sandpaper behind it. Yeah. Nice. Wow, and glue bots everywhere. I noticed that. Now let's go over in this cabinet over here, and I'm going to move out of the way, Brian, let you come in here because I really liked what you had here. So, so this is uh, my to go cart. This is the mobile cart. These rails come out. And when we back up the loading docks, we do a lot of commercial millwork installations. We take this cart and we roll it right off open it up it has all of our install needs for um, the majority of the jobs that we do and look at this here all kaizen foam all the tools down here and i notice you have the baby bots here what do you keep in all the baby bots so right i have here? wood glue denatured alcohol and uh lacquer thinner. so all of your solvents are right there you got your laser your ab2 laser there as well and pocket chisels you got all kinds of cool stuff in here wow nicely nicely done i love it and also, on, this car plugs in, it has an onboard charging system for the drills because part of the design of this, when these come off of here, these come on here. This is to carry the much needed coffee yeah. cup. Oh, everything yeah. comes off and locked. Everything is integrated into the next. That was the idea behind this. Brian, you're amazing. Thank I mean, you. I want to go back into carpentry just after <laughs> seeing this because this is so well done. And this is for your coffee cup right there. Absolutely. So you got it all figured you out. Go. So you're not spilling it. You're not looking for it. No. You always know where it is, which is saving you time caffeine. and making you more money and making you more efficient for your customer and adding value for your customer. Correct. So now we're going to put the pin back in, which allows it to lock to it locks to the truck. And then this the cabinet truck. is going to lock to this cabinet Correct. with the other one. So Brian, what else? Um, I have a couple hidden gems in here. We don't go anywhere without, uh, without our cabinet dolly. Oh, very good. Uh, a couple other hidden things back there. This opens up, we keep our boxed tools in here. Excellent. Uh, You're making a lot of use out of it. A lot of very use. Small. Constantly changing it every, every Are time. Are you really? Week. So Brian, what is this right here in your drawer? I think that's interesting. So this is a, um, a stop system that I created on a couple of the drawers in the truck. It just locks into place, keeps the drawers from sliding out while the truck is swaying back and forth on the highway. Too. Yeah, it's very simple. It's just a pin that comes in. And up then the what bottom. goes down here? So what goes down here is a Festool um, vacuum system, and that is integrated with the sander and with the top saw. Which you're loaning your vacuum to me for the I JLC show, this, so that's why it's not in there. Correct. But So in other words, the vacuum system sucks up all the dust from the sander, the miter box saw, Everything is being integrated it in is. together. And when it's uh, uh, the, 
dust that is all over the countertop, we do have the wand here. Right there. Clean ourselves up. You know what I think is interesting is Paul, who's filming this right now, said, boy, nobody should ever complain about not having enough room because right. you took and put in this one little shop more than, more than people having 10,000 square feet, and right. it all works very efficiently. It works very efficiently. Wow, and then what's, <laughs> looks like we have the camera on up there as well. Yes, the security system and uh, yeah, don't forget because smile, smile, you're on you are on camera. All, so all what do you time. think about lean? Um, lean is one of the reasons I did this. Um, constant improvement and uh, extreme organization makes allows us to make more money and um, get it done quicker, get, get it done um, more professional manner. Do you enjoy your work more, do you think? I love it, yeah. Why? Totally Why is your work more enjoyable when what, you do this? I'll way? tell you what the biggest thing is, is not looking for tools. I, I used to go in with tool bags, we'd be pawing through the bags, looking for the tools. Now everything obviously has its own place. Look, if it's but missing, Brian, what do you say about the people that say that took so much time to do all that? Was it worth all that time? For the, you know what? Nobody ever even says that. They can't even get past the fact that I did that in the first place. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yes. Wow. Inspiring. I mean, this should inspire every woodworker, every tradesperson on how much more enjoyable work it, can it, be. It really is a lot more enjoyable and um, yeah, it, it saves so much time in the long run. You spend a little bit of time and you save a lot more time in the long run. Well, Brian, what an awesome job. What an honor. Thank You're you a true much, lead thinker and we love people like you who think outside the box and are not afraid to improve. Because you're not a spring chicken. Oh, you, uh, well, you're younger than I am. <laughs> Good job.